everyone, so today I'm going to do an updated what's in my handbag video. Now, if you follow me on Twitter, you'll know that I recently went to the London Fashion Weekend event as a guest of Elizabeth Arden, which was amazing. And if you don't know what London Fashion Weekend is, basically it's like an extension to the end of London Fashion Week, which is open to the public. You need to buy a ticket, but you can go along. And basically there's loads of designers that have stalls and they're all discounted, which is amazing, but not good for the bank balance or if, like me, you have um, a crazy obsession with handbags. So I did end up buying another handbag. It was about maybe 80% off, I think. So I kind of justified it by that, but it was still quite expensive. So I'm just going to do... Um, a what's in my bag video. I, you know, I've had a lot of requests to do this again recently, but as I did a handbag collection video a while ago, god, almost a year ago now, um, you've seen all my handbags, so it's not that exciting, so I thought as I've got a new one, I'll do a new what's in my handbag video. So, here is the bag. Now, it's actually from a designer called Porrick, Porrick Sweeney, I think it's por pronounced Porrick, it's an Irish name, um, and yeah, it's just gorgeous. It has these really, really thick leather straps and it's actually made out of eel skin, which I don't have a bag made out of eel skin yet. Um, I thought it was quite a beautiful leather actually and it's really, really soft. So I absolutely love this. Bright, bright pink, definitely my colour. I'm obsessed with pink. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get going and show you what's in it. This bag actually also has tweed lining, if you can see, which I think is absolutely amazing. Um, Tweed is a funny thing to actually wear, but I think in a bag, I think it looks really nice. And also, if you have a black lining to bags, I find it really annoying because you can't find anything. And if you have a big bag, like the size of this one, you can be searching for your car keys for like 20 minutes, which is really annoying. So I'm going to get into actually what's in my handbag now and stop nattering away, as I always do. Um, so the first thing, I'm just going to like pull things out. It's actually quite neat, obviously, because it's a new bag. I haven't had time to like fill it with receipts and gum and weird stuff at the bottom. Um, the first thing is my diary, which this is actually from Mulberry and I got this for Christmas from my mum uh, last year and it's one of the ones like a file of fact so you can change the um, pages. Sorry, mind blank there. So you can change the pages and I just really love this. I also have um, this super cute little note thing if you can see this. I'm not sure about the focus, whether it will go funny because I'm on your camera. Um, basically, this just says like date and program checks. It's basically like a little checklist, but I just slipped it into one of the credit card slots. I picked this up, if you guys are in London, um, from a shop in Covent Garden that sells really, really cute Japanese stationery. So I absolutely love that. So that's where I got that from. So that's my diary. Um, the second thing is my sunglasses. These were in a haul recently, if you've seen them. Um, and these are from Chanel, with the little bows on the side. And I love these. That's what they look like. I'm not going to leave them on for the whole video, because that would be weird. My wallet, which is also from Mulberry. This wallet is actually, in my last What's In My Handbag video, I had a different wallet. This one is actually older than that. I've had this for about three years. But because it's made of the really, really thick um, Mulberry Darwin leather, it's just lasts for absolutely ages and I love it. And it also has a wrist strap, so if you want to take it like as a clutch or just run out of the door with this, it's amazing. So I love that. Um, the next thing, I have my passport, which is also in a Mulberry case. Um, basically, all my friends and family know that I'm obsessed with Mulberry. I absolutely love Mulberry, so this was a gift from one of my best friends for my 21st. So most of the little Mulberry things I have are gifts, so... Um, which is really cool and it matches, kind of matches my diary, they're a different colour but they're the same um, like crocodile effect. So that's my passport, I'm not going to show you inside because then you'll know like my address and my passport number and stuff which would be weird. But I have this in my bag because I'm going away in a couple of days and I've just got back actually from Portugal too so um, that's in my bag at the moment, it's not always in there. Um, randomly I have a card reader which I bought the other day because I've just started using my boyfriend's SLR camera to film my videos, which is why the quality is hopefully better than my laptop one. So I needed a card reader. This is the one I got, it's from Jessup's, I think it's about £15, but it has like every single kind of card, like micro SD, SD, like super tiny, whatever that is. Yeah, basically that's good. And it has a little flip out USB, which is also cool. So that's like all you need. Um, as I've got cold at the moment, you guys might be able to tell I've got cold. I'm literally like really like the... Um, I've got Barocca in my bag, it's not normally something like I carry around, but um, if you guys don't use Barocca, basically it's like just a multivitamin supplement that you drink, kind of like Airborne in the US, and whenever I'm ill or getting ill, I like to drink this, and if I'm ill, I like to give it to people that I'm around um, to stop them catching my illness, well, I hope 
I don't know if it's placebo, whether it actually works, but it feels like it works. So Barocca, love that. I've also got some um, super drugs, own brand, max strength, cold and flu, day and night capsules, which are really good because you get like three day, um, three sets of two day ones and then one for the night as well, which is good. Um, and then I have a little, in my bag I have like little pockets. Um, if you can see, I've got like a big pocket at the back here, and that's where I keep makeup. And then on the other side, there's two pockets. One's meant for a phone, but I don't keep my phone in there, because most of the time, I'm either holding my phone or on my phone, or it's just at the top of my bag. So I usually keep, um, whatever in there, like, um, say if that's where the drugs were that I just had. Not real drugs, the, like, Barocca and the super drug drugs. Yeah. Um, and then I keep my car keys in here. Well, all keys. These are my house keys. Um, I'm not going to show you the actual key because that's boring, but the key rings are kind of cool. This is um, a little Paul Smith key ring, which I got from my friend for my birthday this year. And with the mini and the woods, I'm obsessed with minis. If you've ever watched my five random facts video, I literally am obsessed with minis. So she knew that and got me that, which I love. Um, my car keys have my favourite, literally my all-time favourite key ring on ever. And this is also from Mulberry. I'm like, seriously, this makes me feel like a Mulberry fiend. Um, but it's a little sausage dog and I just love it. Oh, I just think it's so cute. And I got that in Bistra. I think it was... These are initially really expensive. They're about £60, I think. And there's no way. I'm just telling there's no way I would spend £60 on a key ring. I got this, I think, for 10 No, it was £13 I got this for. So, yeah. It's still not cheap for a key ring, but it's not, like, £60. Just in case you're thinking I'm totally irrational. Um, yeah. So, that is my little dog key ring, which I love. And then, this is my key for my sister's house that I stay in London. And it's got a little Hollywood star on it, which was a gift from my boyfriend's sisters when they went to LA, because one of them lives out there. So, that is it in terms of everything else. I'm going to show you the makeup last, because I know how you guys like to see what makeup I've got in my bag. First thing, I have some Carmex. When you have a cold, nothing better than Carmex, except maybe Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream is also really good, but that's in a big tube. So, Carmex for my lips, and if... I get really dry nose, I'll put that on my nose as well. Um, Acora's lip gloss in cherry, which is in light pink. Um, and this is from, actually, this was from Gemma or Gems Maquillage for my birthday this year. So that's really nice and it tastes like cherry drops, which is yummy. Um, I have a lipstick by Daniel Sandler, which I just got. Now this isn't a colour that I normally wear. As you can see, it's kind of like, um, kind of like a deep pinky red. That's totally like a rubbish description. Anyway, you can see what colour it is. I'll swatch it on my hand so you can see. And this is actually like fairly dramatic for me, but I really like it because I'm really scared of bright red lipsticks. I just can't wear them and I just feel stupid when I wear them. This is kind of a good in-between ground between like nude and red. So it's not too garish, but it's still red enough to be quite striking. I love the packaging of these as well. They're amazing. They're like gunmetal colour and they just feel really, really nice quality. So that's Lipstick, I also have a little mirror from Sigma with the little pearls on and this is one of those just like a little compact mirror that you can look in, you can probably see my camera now. Um, yeah, so that's really cute if you need to touch up your makeup or anything. I also have one of the new Sigma Miss Taylor Kabuki brushes which goes like that, so it's like a little travel one so you can just put it away and put it in your bag so you don't get powder all over your bag. I also have a little Bare Minerals matte sample pot which I carry around in my handbag. I don't use this like every day as my actual foundation. I use a different one, so this is just good for top ups because it's tiny and you can fit it in your bag. Um, I think that is it. Oh, headphones. I also have some headphones. These aren't, oh, really annoyingly, I lost my, you know, you get headphones with an iPhone that have like a hands free with a little clicker on and a microphone. I lost them, so, well, I don't know if I lost them. I left them behind when I went to the airport recently and it was quite a long flight, so I really needed some headphones. To listen to music so I picked these up in the airport and they're little Panasonic ones but they are bright pink as always I love pink um, but they don't have the little um, hands-free thing which I really like so I might have a real hunt and try and find my old ones but there we go so that is everything that's in my handbag in terms of what I'm actually missing um, my phone which is here anyway um, which has the most awful cover on at the moment I don't know if you guys can see but it's like one of those rubberized effect covers like NARS makeup packaging and it's actually like come off on the side which is just really annoying and it's not very it's like up two weeks old or something I used to have the sparkly one but after a year that kind of started all falling off so if you guys have any recommendations for a new iPhone case this is an iPhone 3GS um, then let me know because I really want a new case but I kind of am undecided about where to get one from 
So that is it. I normally have concealer in my bag as well. I'm not sure where that's gone. I might have taken it out when I was doing my makeup this morning. Um, but yeah, that's everything in my bag. And this is my bag again. It looks kind of weird now because it's empty. But there we go. Yeah, so I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. And I'll see you again very soon. Bye.